Welcome back guys, this is Dr. Apurva, a medical graduate from India. Now, if you are preparing for USMLE Step 2, there are not much good resources for USMLE Step 2 apart from UWorld. So some people use pre-made Anki decks and some solve UWorld questions only and some make their own Anki decks. So if you are making your own Anki decks, you can keep these things in your mind to make effective Anki cards. So this is how I make USMLE Step 2 cards. Let's say you have this UWorld prototype questions. Now if you are curious about knowing that how to make this highlight highlighting and how to make the stuff bold, you can download mini format pack extension for Enki for the desktop. So this is how you can highlight and make your Enki cards beautiful. Let's say I have this entire question in my Enki deck. Okay. So apart from the question which UWorld has asked there are many more things to decode in this particular question let's say this question is specifically for hyperprolactinemia induced male hypogonadism now this question is asking which of the following is best next step in management now the clear picture is that this patient is having low testosterone and inappropriately low fsh and lh if the patient is having primary hypogonadism if the patient were having primary hypogonadism then no doubt the testosterone would be low but pituitary and hypothalamic axis would respond in such a way that LH and FSH will become high but this patient is already having normal looking FSH and LH which should be high actually so they are inappropriately normal or low for this patient so we are probably thinking for some central cause of hypogonadism. So your best next step in management is you measure serum prolactin level. That is, I have written that what is your best next step in management that is measurement of serum prolactin level. Now as a sub type of question, as a sub uh, category of this Enki card, you can make furthermore new questions like what if your above step is conclusive? Like what if the measurement of serum prolactin level turns out positive? Then what you can do next is if the serum prolactin levels are high then you can go for pituitary imaging these questions are already in this particular one card i have not made multiple cards but uh, you can make subtypes of this question in the same card so if your high serum prolactin levels are conclusive then your next step in management is pituitary imaging then you can also write a subtype of question what if your pituitary imaging turns out conclusive then if you are suspecting prolactin noma then you can give dopamine agonist therapy so as a subtype of question i have also written that what's your diagnosis and in the same same thing i have written that this patient is having gynecomastia testicular atrophy low testosterone and inappropriately or uh, normal gonadotropin hormones so we are thinking about central hypogonadism now what are some causes of this type of condition you cannot explicitly ex explicitly write the things like you, what are the uh, some causes of secondary hypogonadism because that will just reflect the answer in your subtype of question. So I have written what are some causes of this condition. That means you have to think that which condition I am talking about and then you have to list some other causes of secondary hypogonadism. So like you can have hyperprolactinemia or some mass effects or maybe the patient is already on long term glucocorticoids, opioids and so on. Now this question has also uh, written the value of TSH and you will nicely explain that why do we need to measure other pituitary hormones also. So you can add this subtype of question as, as well like why TSH was measured in, in this patient, whether or not you should prescribe sildenafil directly to this patient or maybe you'll wait for prolactin hormones or pituitary imaging then you'll prescribe or maybe augment with sildenafil therapy or should you directly prescribe testosterone ther therapy so if we just maybe let's say we are looking at the preview let's say i am just saving this enki card and let's look how this enki cards look to us so this is the preview of my enki card which i made previously so this is the entire question and you can just ask sub type of questions so this is kind of reviewing same thing at the same time instead of making multiple Anki cards so you can just conclude things all together in the same Anki cards. Well that's all about making effective Anki cards for your summary step 2. If there's anything I would love if you would contact me on Instagram and we can just 
have a conversation there and if there are any doubts you can obviously put those doubts in your comment sections and happy studying all the best thank you bye bye